The world existed fine before UMG. The world does not need thieves that steal from people of their lives work and deprive them of their income. UMG has to go. Shut them down. Not even the Chinese emperors, who ruled China for centuries can stand against the people, when they join together against abuse of power. Not even the Russians, French, British monarchs can stand against the people, when they rise up against abuses. There is no redemption for UMG, there is no way out for them, UMG is headed for destruction. The people are uprising, like a volcano ready to erupt. No one can stop the people, if the masses would rise up against even a tyrant. Like even as powerful as Roman emperors, don't stand a chance against the people, so, who are they? They will be stabbed to death by their own people or hanged. This is a revelation of their inevitable end. This is now the end of the line for UMG. They have reached the apex of their power, and it's downhill towards a crashing end. That's is UMG's future. Mark these words, because this is a revelation of their end. Hungry people who lose their income, and have no money to fight UMG in a legal battle will just cook them and eat them. UMG, is run by Satan, who is bound for hell along with UMG, that's their future. Hell is their future, UMG is stealing people's hard-earned money. Yes, most musical ignoramus think that they know everything, and think they can own music, and stop others from playing music just because they have similarities. Actually, UMG don't own anything. Everything under heaven is owned by Yahuwah. Everything was created by Yahuwah, the Almighty Creator. Music was created by the Almighty Creator for all to enjoy. Saying that they own it, is arrogance. They don't even give the Yahuwah, the Almighty Creator credit, or even a praise, or thank him for giving them eyes, ears, hands, talents, and they were not charged a single cent or quid by Yahuwah, the Almighty Creator of all things seen and unseen. At last we finally found a big fish 50 billion dollars company to fry. We will take the challenge to take em down, and take our keep. 50 billion shut down, and confiscate, freeze, funds, and assets. Who are we? We are the people. We will find ways to confiscate their funds and assets for stealing mass theft of people's money. UMG is going down. Honestly, size doesn't matter when they are wrong, they are wrong. Yahuwah Almighty is not on their side. The bigger they are the harder they fall. The greedy UMG are children of Satan, that is what they are. Thieves stealing from innocent people, who work hard to make a living. They should be removed for stealing from the people, and freeze and confiscate their funds and assets. So people can eat, or else an uprising will erupt and hungry people who don't have money to fight them in court, will have to survive, and will just cook and eat them. They are thieves in the online network industry. If they lose they will just close one company, and open another, in another name, with stolen people's money. It's Saturn's way. They say they are protecting you, but actually they are stealing from you, and they will do it again and again and again, until the end of their day, which is now. These thieves have fronts, who are the fall guys, if caught, but the real masterminds are the invisible man behind the scenes, like Satan. That's why hungry people who are fed up will eat them piece by piece until they confess the big bosses. Imagine if all of us, the people left these crooks all together, all at once, and built something of our own, where would they be? Let's talk about Satan in the online business for a while. Yes, tell them as it is, remember, when business owners lose their integrity or trust or truth, what is there left? Nothing but lies, deceit, cheating and stealing other people's hard-earned money. Now, let's listen to what other people on YouTube, what they have to say, about UMG, these are their testimonies. That, that's right, yeah. Universal Monkey Ball UMG, we all know them as Universal uh, Monkey Gobblers. <laughs> Universal Music Group, what is it? That, that's right, yeah. Y you Universal Monkey Ball Gobblers. 
these guys have been running amok on YouTube for so long, claiming every freaking video imaginable, and we're all so pissed off and fed up with UMG. It's like, how about before you partner up with the enemy of the people, you tell them, hey, stop, stop destroying our platform and taking the livelihood from all of our creators. And of course, everybody ripped off. I will. I, I just wonder how can they be so disconnected? Because, like, UMG, like, I've heard it from so many YouTubers by now, and I, I barely spend time on Twitter, but it's almost every time I open Twitter, there's something about yeah. them. I don't know. Yeah. And she's like, I'm always on trending, and my CPMs are so good, and you guys treat me so well. And then Susan's like, oh, YouTube is the best. We're doing such a good job. And then she comes and sees me, and I'm like... <laughs> Shit, the house like, oh, is what burning. Time? What time is it? I... <laughs> no, she was very receptive to my comments. Um, but they are tone deaf. They're just not involved. So everybody's blasting her. I said, I will not be viewing these until UMG pledges to improve their flagrant copyright abuse until they have no grounds to ask support of YouTube community for which they harm every day. And I'm saying, hashtag boycott UMG. I'm not going to watch this shit. I didn't ask for this. I don't need to see it in HD. Now, there are a few assholes. Universal is an asshole. UMG, some of the music studios, UMG, RMG, these kinds of ones. So here is the story. We did a Hellboy trailer reaction, and I think our opinion of it was negative, at least in this particular trailer. Doesn't mean we hate the movie. Just means we hate that trailer. We didn't think that trailer came across as very strong. I could end up giving this movie a 10 out of 10 and telling everybody to go see it. But for that particular trailer, we didn't like it. Well, uh, come to find out uh, several days afterwards, maybe a week, uh, it got manually claimed. Now, this is not an automatic bot. This is an employee who comes into work, sits down, put his briefcase, I guess nobody uses briefcases anymore, but just sits down and gets his iPad down there and he gets to work and he goes, let me search on YouTube of who is uh, reacting to our trailers, right? And he finds my video and he says, oh, you are using our trailer, you watched our trailer, you're talking about our trailer, oh, and is it negative, is it positive? I am going to claim your trailer. That is a manual claim. That is a human being, employee, representative of that company, manually flagging our video. UMG needs to be fucking stopped, all right? Every YouTuber I know has had like a video to two videos a week getting claimed by UMG. I myself have been probably, probably about one to two videos a week have been claimed by UMG. Just picking off my entire catalog of videos one by one. So this is the latest video they claimed and I, I don't want you to miss it, so pay close attention here. Hearing a grown adult doing a baby voice always makes me want to punch the shit out of something. <laughs> oh man, I know I used this shtick last video. That was one second, one fucking second of logic saying, who can relate? Woo! Who can relate? <laughs> Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano, the internet's busiest music nerd here with your question of the week. A lot of you have been commenting, asking me why I'm no longer playing clips of songs in my videos. And basically my answer to that question is <laughs> copyright. Copyright law. Copyright, 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 copyright. I've been reading up on copyright law, YouTube's DMCA policy, Google's DMCA policy, and they vary in a gray, wishy-washy sort of way, make excuses if some big Warner Brothers-esque record label were to come breathing down YouTube's neck. And they were like, oh, well, uh, you know, Warner Brothers is here, and uh, they're kind of mad that you use this clip in your video. Editing, one taking it, this is a big, important issue that we need to talk about. It's Universal Music Group. They're one of the big three record labels, and they pretty much signed every single artist that I can name off the top of my head. All right, every YouTuber I know has had, like, a video to two videos a week getting claimed by UMG. My recent tweets have been about my videos getting claimed, and I just want to do a video to give a little more detail. This is what I think they claimed me for, because we were singing this song. And out of prayer. As I'm sure you guys have heard, music labels like UMG have been copyright striking a ton of YouTube content creators lately. And I like being part of the problem. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing the same thing and showing you exactly how they do it. Let's get canceled. Everyone, heck, it's USA, minus four, gross, and all the channel, like, videos about social media, and the influencers on this platform. So if you guys are new 
if you're not so please sort of make sure to smash and this video is gonna be doozy so stick around till the end according to youtube's terms of service copyright owners can use a system called content id to easily identify and manage their content on youtube videos uploaded to youtube are scanned against a database of files that have been submitted to us by copyright owners and copyright owners get to decide what happens when their content is appearing in another youtube video as far as I can tell, there are three different versions of Content ID. There's obviously the main Content ID tool, which is given to record labels and movie studios like UMG, for instance. There's also a content verification program for users to upload a large catalog of content and frequently need to take down videos. And finally, YouTube offers the Copyright Match tool. This tool, mind you, is being rolled out to YouTubers who are signed with the YouTube Partner Program. And guess who signed in the YouTube Partner Program? This guy. I did some research and YouTube says to please be sure to use the copyright match tool responsibly. Personally, it was not responsible for YouTube to give me the copyright match tool. I'm just kidding. I'm very responsible. So, uh, as you can see, I'm now on my YouTube studio dashboard. And what do I see over here? The copyright tool. <laughs> now notice, <laughs> there are a ton of videos that have been ripped from my channel. Paul, stay calm. Okay. Use this respectfully. I don't want to be kicked off YouTube. But my friends, I gotta say, if you're gonna rip one of my videos, why is it always Minecraft? Now, of course, a few of these listings are from my alternate channels where I run tests and experiments, but th 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 that's not really what I'm worried about here. I'm talking to imagining this like, kid with like zero subscribers getting this copyright takedown notice in his email inbox. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to ruin anybody's day. So even though these kids are clearly in the wrong, I feel really bad. I've been making content on YouTube for like the past five, six years now, just going back to all my different channels. And I'm a strong believer in creating your own content. And it's a real shame that these people think that they can just upload content that's not theirs. But it just... These are probably kids, and that's why I feel bad. <laughs> Still though, there's a thing called juvenile detention, so... I need, to I need to fix my moral compass. I had written this whole script out like I was so mad and I was even going to do copyright takedowns for every single solitary person that stole my content as a huge joke because technically I am in the right to do this. I'm in the right here. <laughs> These videos are not fair use. They are not transformative. They are a blatant rip off of my entire video. But I got cold feet. I feel bad. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please pray that my voice comes back in the near future. All right, peace. <laughs> I'm talking about a character arc. This is not the video I had hoped to make because as you can see, it's beautiful weather outside. I'd rather sit in the sun, but I just have to. In July of 2018, I made a video about a crazy copyright claim, and I thought I had seen the worst, but I guess I hadn't. Times really are crazy for YouTubers that are in any way involved in music. And the crazy thing is, it's not just the algorithm and the content ID picking up certain songs. No, there's actually people manually browsing through videos just hoping to see copyrighted material. Mine is crazy. Take a look at my phone. This is from March 15. I got 15 claims in one hour. It is insane. Every one of these mails is a copyright claim by YouTube within the hour. So some person was just checking out my videos and flagging them one at a time. Boom, that one, boom, that one, boom, that one. That's mine. So what does it mean if I get such a claim? They basically say I'm using their copyrighted material in my video. So they take all the money. So in the best case, all earnings from those videos go to these greedy corporations. Universal made Universal Music, I can't even pronounce it. Universal Music Group, there's a bunch of them, but it can get worse. Let's take a look at this video, for example. In this video about licks, I'm playing a tiny lick of an Eagles song, just one lick. I'm not playing the last note. And now this video is completely blocked for viewers in the United States, where coincidentally, my biggest public is. And all the advertised money the video is making from the rest of the world goes to them. Everything, not one cent from me. So for a two second lick, eight little notes, in a freaking 15 minute long video, doesn't matter. The rest of the video doesn't matter. Just everything is for them. Another video they claimed was me playing a D sus 2 chord, a beautiful chord, which is obviously copyrighted because it's the first chord of stop this train. So I cannot explain how to play a slapping technique 
Studios. Yeah, this is too core is copyrighted material. Yeah, makes sense, right? So, who on earth? What kind of job is that? Okay, one more example. I could go on for hours, by the way, but I'm not doing that. But just one more example. So this is about the song Neon by John Mayer. Over a million views. That's pretty cool. But guess how much I'm making with this video? That's right. Nothing, not one single cent, because yes, I'm using copyrighted material. In this video, I never played one note from an original recording. It's just me talking about a little riff. And not even the entire song, it's just a five second riff I'm talking about. Researching it, dissecting it, explaining how it works, why it is difficult. So we can't analyze a song anymore on YouTube. Even if you look at the notes from the song, your shit is getting claimed. Let alone try to play it for a little bit. Why do so many play this riff wrong? Talking about sex on fire. I'm always gonna hear someone analyzing the rhythm. Claimed no money. The ultimate 432 versus 440 hertz comparison. Claimed Fender versus Squire. Claimed all of my top 10, top 25 videos. Claimed all song lessons. Claimed. It is ridiculous. There goes an age old tradition of learning guitar. No, because when I'm trying to teach you a song, any song, it doesn't even matter. Universal Music Group deserves all the f***ing credit and money of it. All of it. So, what can we do as YouTubers to protect ourselves from these scandalous and outrageous companies, corporations? We can appeal the claim and file a dispute and then within 30 days they have to give their reaction. Three guesses what their answer is. I think you guessed it right, because they're just saying they are right, without any reasoning or arguments, nothing. And after this, there is nothing you can do, you're left empty-handed. You put in the hard work, and you're seeing jack shit as a result. Thank you, music publishing groups, you are really helping the internet becoming a better place, protecting your fragile artists' right, and taking everything of us, thieves, how dare we talk about your songs? How dare we play that single lick? Talking about that lick, I spoke to a colleague and fellow YouTuber Adam Neely about this topic because I noticed he got a claim on one of his recent videos too. Hey, okay. Hey. You had a copyright infringement on your video recently. There's a couple of things that are going on and that have happened to my channel. I can't show any aspect of the composition of single ladies. Basically what that means is I can't show any sheet music, I can't do any sort of MIDI recreation of the song, because in their eyes that's a cover of the song, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not covering the song, I'm talking about the song. I'm saying, hey, these are aspects of the song that you should check out. But in the current system they can definitely do that, they can say, well no, you can't talk about it anymore. You can't even do that. I do feel that if you were the copyright owner of a song and you wrote a song and somebody covers it, you deserve a little bit of royalty for that. But this becomes a little bit more of an issue of, this is kind of like, it, it's run wild. Somebody literally just clicked my video. And that's, that's how easy it is, which is crazy. On the other side of the coin, do you feel protected by these laws in any way? I do feel protected in that sense, but at the same time, for me, it's not a problem. I haven't been, like, grossly affected by people pirating my stuff. I don't see that being at, in any way, shape, or form an affront on my business, on my artistry, on anything that I do. The tools available are very, very easy for us. And that's almost frightening because it's just as easy for larger corporations to take us down as well. So, do you feel like you like those tools or do you use those tools often? No, never. I saw there are a bunch of videos that I made are just re-uploaded somewhere and they get like between 500 and 1000 views. It's just exact copies of my videos. So how is it possible that everyone talks about this? Everyone complains about it? And it only keeps on getting worse and worse. Well, it's really not that hard to come up with a solution. Eric, you know, the Eric from Internet Comment Etiquette with Eric worded it nicely in a video where he actually replied in one of his videos about copyright to my previous video about copyright. And he had a pretty sweet solution to this madness. Here's a small part of what he proposed. To this poor son of a bitch, the craziest copyright strike from YouTube ever? So someone took my track, added vocals, added guitars. I get a copyright infringement notice. Wait, what? A tale as old as time. What if, for instance, YouTube implemented a sort of TSA pre-check for YouTube channels where... Yeah, wait a minute, he's talking 
talking over a copperhead song let's let's finish this myself where you can apply as a creator and based on your current standing with copyright claims and depending on how big your channel is therefore more likely to be your main source of income you can get a soft white listing that adds extra steps when another company wants to copyright claim you i think that's a great solution these people aren't in it to deliberately copy songs or infringe on copyright we are just trying to do our job as teachers as musicians as creators does the fear of getting a claim does it affect your videos in any way? Of course. I I can't play recordings of songs and talk about them. Which is ridiculous because when I was in school, that's all we did. We listened to songs and then we talked about them. It's a very effective means of teaching. It's a very effective means of demonstrating. The, the analogy I have, and this is I think the best analogy to describe how ridiculous this is, is it would be like if you were enrolled in a film course where you were studying film and studying the art of film, but you weren't allowed to watch any films. And not only that, if the instructor reenacted scenes from the film themselves and tried to talk about it that way, they would be then sued for reenacting scenes of the film in an educational like context. That's what it is with music. Let me be clear, I absolutely love it here on YouTube. It gave me so many opportunities I would have never had without it. It's a great platform for creators, but it could be so much better. My videos could literally be better if I didn't have to worry all the time about these claims. Making stuff sound worse, or just avoiding topics at all because the claims are just around the corner. But I do hope you enjoyed this video, although it was a bit of a rant. Uh, make sure you have subscribed to the channel.